Hey, how's everyone doing today? This is Josh Noel with Premium B, and in this After Effects video, we're gonna show you how to audio react anything to your song. So here we are inside of After Effects. I've already created a new composition. We have a background, our logo, and a soundtrack inside our composition here. And once you have some of your basic elements in here, we can start to set this up. So let's go to your soundtrack layer and all you have to do is tap L twice on your keyboard and this will bring up the audio waveforms. And you can kind of see uh, some of the dips in the song and some of the you know louder parts and kind of get an understanding where everything's gonna be audio reacting. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna go to our soundtrack layer. We're gonna right click the layer and we're gonna go to keyframe assistant and click on convert audio to keyframes. And this should take a second and it'll create a null object. And then what I'm gonna do is hit U on my keyboard to bring up the keyframes here. And we're gonna select the left and right channel and just delete it because we don't need them. And then for both channels, I'm gonna click on slider and I'm gonna go to the graph editor and we can see how this audio is gonna react and we have our keyframes here, which is nice. So what we're gonna do now is add an expression. So I'm gonna alt click the stopwatch right here and what we're gonna do is delete this current expression and we're gonna type in ease, open parenthesis, value, and I'll zoom in here real fast so we can see that exactly. And then I'm gonna type in comma, and we're gonna type in 10 comma 30, and I get this units from the average amount of uh, units being used in the keyframes here, so towards the uh, lower part of our song, we're getting an average of 10 units, and towards the upper part of our song, we're getting an average of 30 units. So that's where I got those two numbers. And we're typing comma, and for the next value here, we're gonna type in 15, and it, basically by 15 points, this is the minimum amount of reaction you're gonna get. And we'll type in comma, and we'll type in 30, and 30 points is gonna be the maximum amount of reaction you'll get. And then go ahead and close this up with a close parenthesis, click off of it, and you should be good to go with that expression. Now let's go to our logo here. Let's hit S from keyboard for scale. Let's alt click the stopwatch and let's grab the pick whip right here and let's pick whip it to the slider and we'll click off it. And now we'll see that our logo is starting to react towards the song there and you can see that. And the only issue here is that our logo is extremely small. So what we can do to fix this is select our logo layer, go up to effect, distort, transform, and we can just scale this up back into you know, a nice position, which I think for right there is decent, maybe a little bit bigger. And you don't have to do scale, you can do pretty much any parameter inside of After Effects. For, so for example, we can go to our background here, go to Effect, Color Correction, Brightness and Contrast. We can alt click the stopwatch for brightness and we can go to our audio amplitude and pick whip the brightness to the slider. And with a little preview, you'll see that the brightness is changing. Cool, so that's that. So basically that's how this effect works. Make sure to turn on motion blur for your layers that you're audio reacting and turn it on the top. Now, if you do want to take this a little step further and actually use some real audio reaction layers inside of After Effects, let's do that right now. Let's go up to Layer New Solid and we can call it React and click OK. And go up to Effect, Generate and we can use the Audio Spectrum Effect. And there's also a waveform. We'll take a quick look at that as a bonus. Uh, but right here, we can see that we have the straight line going across here. I'll solo this layer so we can see a little bit better. And it's not much going on, so we have to make this layer work. So let's go to the audio layer parameter at the top here, and let's set this to our song. And now we'll see that there's a little bit of audio reaction going on here, which is great. So let's say we don't want this to be a straight line. What if we want this to be like a circle? So what we can do is grab the ellipse tool at the top, Make sure our layer is selected and just draw out a perfect circle by holding down shift and command on a Mac or control on a PC to draw out the circle from the center. And now we have the circle going here and go to the mask one and set it to none and go back to up to audio spectrum and go to path and set it to mask one. And I'll turn off the mask real fast. You'll see that we have this in a circle now and you can do pretty much any other shape that you could think of, which is great. And we can come here, put up the maximum height, which is gonna make these a little bit longer. We go to the frequency bands and increase that number. We can play with the thickness. We can decrease the softness so it'll be a little bit more sharp. And of course, we can unsolo this layer real fast and we can change the inside and outside color to maybe our logo color right here. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. And if we have to, we can always make this layer a little bit bigger. 
for the most part, that's how we're able to quickly use this effect if you really want this nice audio spectrum. And we'll take a quick look at the audio waveform and you can go up to effect, generate, audio waveform. And it's basically the same thing as the spectrum effect. And I'll just go over this composition real fast because it's basically all the same parameters. It's just a different style. So just keep that in mind. It's just really cool. Uh, you know, I do like this one a lot, but I just used this one for this tutorial. So basically the same parameters, but just another way to look at it. And let's do one more audio reaction. So let's say we want to audio react the background here to make a full sort of, you know, good feeling here. So what we can do is just hit P on the keyboard for our, uh, you know, background here. I'll click the stopwatch and we're going to go into parent it to the slider. So sometimes when you audio react certain parameters, you're going to have a little bit of an issue here. And typically it's just in the transform properties. And this is just a quick fix. So go to effect, distort, transform, and we can grab the position over here, the crosshair, and put this in the center of our composition, which would be probably about right here. I'll turn on the uh, title safes and we'll just reposition this real fast. We're now, and now we're going to have this nice movement for our background. And I wouldn't suggest actually turning on motion blur for your background uh, just because I think it'd be a little bit annoying, but that's just me. But for the most part, we are really good to go. This is how you can do this effect. And if you were following along with this video, you should have gotten something uh, very similar uh, to this. So there's a ton of ways that you can create a great audio reaction for your video. So go out there and see what works best for you. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more tutorials, please be sure to check out our blog at premiumbeat.com. And if you're in the need for royalty-free music, we have a huge library full of great music for your projects. And once again, thank you for watching this video. And this has been Joshua Noel from premiumbeat.com.